Hello everybody, my name is The Chef and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the broker of the underworld, aka my stepfather, aka Don Quixote do Flamingo. Um, the former, um, what we call it, Celestial Dragon. Boy got hung up like a wet towel and uh, burned at the burned at the cross on his house. Not really on a cross, he was kind of like hung up and set, set aflame. Uh, anyways, I have a lot of mixed feelings about uh, this unit. He's a really cool character in the series. He's uh, honestly one of the most popular, really just solid uh, writing on this uh, character. But, um, you know, on his initial release, he was actually a fabulous unit. However, he has uh, fallen from grace, in uh, my opinion. Like, even, there's just a lot of better runners out there. Like, even some step-up runners are better, <laughs> like, faster. He's no longer the fastest, like he used to be. Uh, he doesn't hit that hard, and, um, you know, he's quite squishy as well, so it's just kind of, just, I don't know. Overall, I have mixed feelings about him. He is really fun to play, and he can be annoying. This fucking big mom just hit me with the Kamehameha. Um, like, even, I don't know, just runners like Big Mom and uh, even, like, Law, Snake Man. These guys can all reach the flag almost, like, the same time. Because nowadays, they're with their long range skill or their knockback skill. It's just kind of easy to, like, get there first and, like, kind of cock block him. He is good at escaping, though. He has that nice invincibility skill. But even then, uh, Luffy can actually catch you mid-flight with the so-called invincibility skill. So that's kind of whack, if you ask me. They should have made it invincible, not fucking Luffy is able to grab you. Um, anyways, we're just kind of sneaking around like uh, the Grinch that stole Christmas, but we're just stealing flags. Um, and that's pretty much all you can really do um, with this character. Again, he doesn't hit super hard, but unless you have like team boost or something. And I have like high attack, high defense, high HP. Um, but he's just still kind of lacking. Like right there, you can see I hit Zoro. I think he was already damaged a little bit, but we didn't do like the most damage. Snakeman just one shot us. I mean, he's got team boost and whatever. So, you know, it's kind of, it was bound to happen, but I don't know. I just, he's got a really cool icon. You know, somebody brought up the point that he's got a really nice icon. He's good for t uh, your team support. Um, but overall, man, I don't know. I just, again, have mixed feelings about this guy. Uh, he does have a sweet jacket, however. Is that like a Canada goose? There's real goose feathers right there. Look, we almost did no damage to Big Mom. And we just, we literally hit her with every single one of those hits. Um, but, you know, for, for capping purposes, he, he's great at capping if the flag is above 50%. Otherwise, once it gets below that 50% point, I think it just goes back to normal speed. Like, look at that. And I have, like, I don't know, 80 or 90% capture speed with my medals. Um, or, sorry, like, uh, what is it, 40-something percent with my medals, which is um, pretty crazy. Uh, like, pretty crazy high capture speed. So, even with that, he's not capturing the fastest. So... Um, you know, overall, uh, I have to say, he's fun to play. Um, he's <laughs> he's also got a really funny uh, flag-grabbing animation. He looks like he's holding up a cup of tea or something, or diddling some, you know, about to diddle you with his diddling hand. Uh, you know how he gets down in dress row, so he likes to likes to control people. Uh, the, uh, damn it, the Zoro followed me down, not guarding the mid-flag, but whatever. We got four out of the five flags right now. We got five. Um, as long as we guard a couple of these flags, we should be fine. I see a big plate of food. Um, you know, Dofi, uh, the guy lives a luxurious lifestyle. He won't eat anything but the finest. Uh, he actually might eat a child or two, though. The guy's kind of sick in the head. Um, you know, he's had a troubled past. And uh, again, he's just a really solid, well-written character. I just rewatched Dress Rose actually, and it was a uh, you know it was quite good, very long, but um, you know, world building at its finest right there, and cool uh, antagonists. Anyways, but that's besides the point. We're here to talk about Dove. He got six captures and zero kills, so um, they should, god damn it, they should reward runners for capturing, especially like back capping. That should be a you know a major uh, point boost. Uh, we got our boy Kurokuma here, who's the god of Kuma, and also uh, Lord Mihawk, uh, a Mihawkanite follower, uh, or a believer in the Mi religion of Mihawk, and also Kuma. Um, 
Whatever, Akuma's reading that Mihawk Bible right there, too, if you didn't notice. Uh, but we got a couple of Luchis here. Uh, we are going to just go for the mid flag, as any runner should do. But again, Big Mom is faster than, pretty much faster than, like, or at the same speed. And we have, like, a speed boost trade thing. Uh, we actually managed to dodge and hit her. But look, we hit her with all of those attacks and still only did, like, less than a quarter of her HP. Um, which, I don't know, it's just sad. It's sad to see how, how this guy has fallen from grace. He used to be such an amazing... Uh, like threat, but now like he's just so squishy. Um, but we're gonna try to uh, capture this flag. We got this Paramount War Luffy just kind of putting in work on us here. And uh, our boy Kuma comes in with the save. Uh, we are gonna start the back capping and, and trying to be annoying because that's what this character does best. This poor ace like jumped down for some reason gives us an opportunity to go. I don't know why I decided to grab this one, but uh, it was kind of nice because. Um, Somebody knocked down that Luffy, but fuck, look, look, what kind of fucking range is that? He looked like the dude was like a football field away from me, and somebody managed to hit me. Uh, and his name is Luffy, too. Very, uh, you know, very, uh, what do you call it, creative name. Not. Uh, <laughs> but he did get the best of us, so good on him. And we're going to try to get that little bottle of bubbly right there. You know how bubbly gets you a little loose, a little, little speed? Um... And we get, you know, we're trying to run to the back as fast as we can. Uh, can't catch us because we're the Doe Flamingo Men. Um, there's a new nursery rhyme I just wrote. It's original. Uh, but anyways, we're going to try to uh, hit this Luffy. Uh, he does hit us, but we poise through that. And uh, we're going to go try to get the back flag here. We see that there's a Shanks, and we do got our team boost. But, um, you know, try to hit him with those, uh, those what are you, string bullets. Uh, we're going to lure him down here as well. They just got team boost as well, so it's not looking good. Uh, we are going to get that dodge. I didn't even know that Sapo was there. I thought I was going to dodge, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Shanks' attack. God damn it, I'm fucking losing my mind. Alzheimer's, you know, when you get old, shit happens like this. Uh, anyway, we're going to try to be as annoying as possible here. We're going to get that nice dodge. Jump out of the way. Um, pretty much crush this ace. I did, you know, a good, decent amount of damage on him. Uh, he clearly is like under leveled here. Uh, but this fuck is that Lo Luffy again? The one and only? We're gonna try to jump and stun him. We do end up getting the stun. We're gonna go help our boy Luchi, but uh, fuck, what, like what the hell even s s stunned us there? I guess Rayleigh perfect dodged into that uh, my little bullet rain right there. It was Luffy. Curse you! Try to be all cannon with the cannon finishes there. Luffy versus fucking Doflamingo. Um, but we're going to switch into the boy because there's only about 20 seconds left. And uh, it's looking pretty scary down there. But watch this clutch-ass ending. And uh, we're going to end some lives here. And some careers, potentially. Hit them with the mochi fist, right? Get that little shock. Slide into the middle. Give them that one, two, bop, bop. And uh, hit that big mom. Somebody at the end there. Uh, actually captured that back flag, so that's real nice of them. Um, big ups to Kuno for holding it down for so long in the middle. Real solid shit. Uh, got two kills and no captures, like, you know. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how annoying he can be. But here's all the, uh, you know, the team support I'm running. 143%, I believe, with a bunch of tags. For attack as well, which makes you think, um, you know, how weak he actually is. Now look, I got 858 attack and all this defense and HP and all this cap speed. You know, I'm fucking capping out the ass right now, but I can't do shit. Uh, so, you know, I know a lot of people love this unit. Um, he is he is good, but uh, he's just kind of aged poorly. Um, anyways, you know, use whoever the fuck you want. I'm not going to judge you. Uh, but, you know... Um, we just running capture speed stuff. Here's the skills. Uh, nothing really that you haven't seen before. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, please like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button for more of this One Piece Bounty Rush content. We're almost at a thousand subscribers, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, big, big, big stuff for us here on the, in the uh, community here, the Chef's Kitchen. So, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. Peace.